Hey guys, welcome to Outdoors with Joe. Uh, I got a new air rifle here today. And a lot of you guys are going to be saying, pissed off. Man, Joe, you might get pissed off. <laughs> but let me assure you, uh, I've already shot this rifle. Today I ran about 100, 125 rounds maybe through it. And I think you guys are going to be impressed with this rifle. So this is just a little, little teaser video. Uh, I am fortunate enough that I live about a half an hour from a reputable air rifle shop. Uh, some of you guys might already heard of him. It's uh, Lethal Air. So I uh, chat at Lethal Air. He uh, goes over these rifles, man, and uh, he makes sure you get it going. Now, one thing you have to remember with these air rifles is... They have a 10 inch barrel, so let me show you. 10 inch. So from here to here, 10 inches. So it's not gonna be a tack driver, it's a 10 inch barrel. It don't have a 21 inch barrel like the Benjamin Caden. So you can't expect it to be a tack driver at 50 yards. But I did run some shots through it today at 27 yards, about 100, 125 shots, give or take. And uh, I was actually impressed because I watched uh, the other videos on these rifles. And uh, some of you guys, uh, I don't know, got a lemon, I don't know. Um, maybe it was his shipping, you know. Ordered it from the guy in uh, Texas who is a, uh, a car dealer. Threw it in a bag and threw it in a box and shipped it to you and UPS dropped it 500 times. Might have something to do with it. But uh, Chad at Lethal Air, he, uh, he goes over these rifles. I'm going to tell you what, uh, my first impressions when I walked in, it was just mind-boggling how Chad at, at Lethal Air has took air rifles to a whole new uh, dimension. Awesome, man. Awesome. It's just mind-boggling. Um, Chad not only sells these, uh, Lisa Air, they carry all kinds from FX to Air Force to just about anything you want. Also, uh, these, uh, these air rifles here are going to be produced by a different company, Sovereign Air, I believe the name of it is. And, um, Chad's going to be getting those in. He, he still has some of these and he goes over them. He makes sure they do not leak air. He makes sure that everything works like it should. My magazines work absolutely flawless. And uh, it wasn't shipped to me in a box that UPS abused for 800 miles. So anyway, I got some uh, some pics. I didn't do no video today, but I do have a couple pics. I'll put some uh, that I shot at 27 yards. Some five shot groups with the JSB 18 grain and the Crossman Dome 14.3 grains. So, uh, here, let's get them up for you. Let you take a look. All right, guys, there you go. There's a few picks. Like I say, uh, I didn't get a time, chance today to do any video, and since it's due with the holidays and but anyway, we're going to put this uh, rifle on the bench tomorrow. We're going to run across the chronograph, uh, get some DB readings on it, see how loud it is. It's actually not very loud. And uh, run about six or seven different weights and, and different manufacturer pellets to it and uh, see how she does. I do think it's going to be a little pellet finicky. But this is, like I say, it's a 10-inch barrel. So, you know, it's not a 21-inch barrel, but... Chad at Lethal Air has got some 21-inch uh, barrels coming in, and they are going to be threaded, so you can put your own candy on the end, <laughs> your own moderator, and uh, I think that 21-inch barrel is going to make this rifle a game changer, and my, uh, once again, my magazines work flawless, I haven't had any trouble, and uh, I've seen a review that says, the cocking lever on there was bent. This one, as you can see, is not bent. And it's very, very smooth. 
I know some of you guys say uh, buttery smooth. Let's just say it's a KY Jelly Smooth. How about that? Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to be uh, shooting that footage tomorrow and really, really putting this rifle through the ringer. And we'll check it out. But so far, I'm impressed. Uh, it seems to be doing okay. But in the meantime, check out Lethal Air. Uh, he has his own uh, YouTube page, a YouTube channel. Uh, his website is lethalair.net. I'll leave links to both of those below. You can check him out. Until next time, folks, have a good one.